It's time to tour a warehouse. It's a good day, good day coming. It's a good day coming. It's a good day coming. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. We just got to Queen City Corals. This place is so sick. They just moved to a bigger facility that is actually three times the size of their old one, so they're still kind of settling in, but they got the uh, awesome artwork right here. You guys already know, you can find this at Skelly Fest too. Ooh, check out this room. So many tanks. Hi, Jason. <laughs> they got some fish setups over here that they're still working with. They just brought in some more tanks over here and they got corals for days. We're gonna get into all of this in one second. And we're in another state, but we still got some glasses we borrowed here so that way we can get some stuff looking real pretty. All right, let's get this party started. So right when you come in here to the right, they got the tanks and then they got this beautiful tank right here. A uh, customer had a move and it was just like, uh, I'm just gifting this to you guys for your new store. So we what? Set up a Dang, that's that's sick. We love a free tank around here. Look at this guy. There's some really cool fish in here. Bunch of A cans right here. If you guys don't know, they got some sick A cans. These are nice and fluffy too. I think this will be like the next size we go because oh, these are the uh, the Kessels, right? Yeah. Nine X's, right? Yeah. Woohoo! Look at me, guys, learning over here. Yeah, this might be the next size we go. I mean, I would love to do like a huge tank, but like we got to be realistic too. All right, and then right over here, our first set of tanks. They got a little force. Is everything running on? So these two tanks are individually plumbed, and these two are our two quarantine systems. So any customer trade-ins, um, new mariculture shipments or anything, go into these tanks first, so we can kind of monitor them and make sure there's no pests and anything before we put them out into our actual system. By the way, this is Kyle, works yeah. here. <laughs> It'll help you out if you ever come into the store. What lights are you guys running on all these tanks? They're all Radeons for the most part. Um, I think these are Gen... Yeah, these are Gen 5s. We do have a couple of Gen 4s mixed in that we just haven't upgraded yet, but it's mostly Gen 5 uh, pros and blues. I feel like you can't I, you can't go wrong with Radeons. I, I, they're expensive, but they're so good. Do you guys uh, like QT in these tanks or you're kind of just... Yeah, so we just um, finished setting up two systems. So this is a fish only system where we'll be uh, QTing fish for local customers. Oh, um, cool. Mostly wild caught fish we can treat in this system. And then in our newest system over here, which is still, um, we're just doing leak tests and whatnot, we'll be inverts and captive redfish again for like local customers. And we are going to be selling inverts online as well. Sweet. So how long do they stay in here before like so they go? This system is actually our, uh, it's plumped into our SBS trough to the, to the left behind you. It's just this finished. one? Yep. Nice colonies over here too. Chunky guys. We're still developing um, a rack system that's going to be kind of our SBS grow out tank. And okay. then when we frag, we're going to move them into um, the tank these 50 gallon low boys on the right here. Oh, okay. So this is where you would like shop from. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Look at that guy. We just had a huge sale this past week, so I mean, we must have sent out Oof. about a hundred shipments. So we're really? A little bit lower than we normally are. Can't wait to get over there. I'm just going to go in a circle because, you know, I don't know. You got some live rock or is, are you planning to make this something? Um, this is mostly live rock, but so we build custom rock stru structures here um, for a lot of installs. So I'll actually take one out for you. And what we do is we'll actually cycle them for our service clients. But we build like a custom oh, skate for nice. the uh, installs and then we'll cycle them in this in this pond here and then we bring them out to the installs. So that's some customer service right there. I've never seen that before. Like somebody cycle them for you. Mm -hmm. That's that's awesome. So this is all for one tank actually. So one, Ooh. two, three, and then this little one, four, um, just for some low lying area. And then we just have some extra rock in case someone wants this. Yeah, rock. first coral tank. <laughs> so this tank right here that you're actually looking at is our order holding tank. So this tank and then that flat tank against the wall. So when someone orders a coral online, we'll actually pull it aside, we'll mark a row and we'll label who it's for. That way when we go to our online system, we can compare which corals are for who and make sure we're, everyone's getting the WYSIWYG coral that they ordered. Faith got that scully right there? Yes, she did. You got a winner, look at that thing. Beautiful. two big trachies right behind it. All of them? Yeah. Dang, baller. Some solid GSP for the low. Whoa, that guy's cool. What is that? One of our rainbow nems. It's actually a baby from that massive one that's in that corner over there. Mr. Clownfish likes it. You guys have so many like larger, larger pieces too. These are pretty gonies. So much color. And all of this, almost all this stuff is online too or no? 
Um, most of it is, so a lot of this center row is where we organize it online and then we pull from here into our online system. So okay. this is mostly for local. We do, some of the bigger pieces that we list will be in these systems just because of space. Look at these egg hands. What's that mean? Crazy colors. And those, those mushrooms. I think that's the mushroom we got there too. A little sun kiss. All right, let's move on. Oof. Oh, I've been looking for that guy too. How often do you guys like frag from this stuff? Uh, so this tank we probably frag about once every three to four weeks out of it. We got a little frag central over here. All the zoas. Whoa, that guy looks grumpy. Bigger colonies of zoas over here. Those are thinker pools? Where? Uh, these? Yeah. No, those are, I believe, pink diamonds. I could be wrong. Purple with yellow or pink diamond, yeah. You listen to other people making videos long enough, you start to pick up a thing or two, you know? Beautiful Connie's. Oh, we got a little little GMK over here. <laughs> Look at this one, it's eating the little snail in there. So then if I'm right, these are the online ones. Yes, yeah, so this this forward is all hundred percent online. Some of this might be sold by the time you guys see this, but if not, check on their website. I'll have we'll links down below. Tuesday and Friday sale. Okay, cool, there you go. Bunch more Zoas. That plate is nice. Plates are crazy. Is there a reason that you guys put them in like cups? Is it for trans for shipping purposes or? Um, yeah, it is for shipping purposes. It's also uh, because we put a lot of corals in here and the plates don't really attach to anything. We found that sometimes they'll shift and if they get if they bump into another coral, they usually end up getting stung and damaged. So by keeping them in the cups, it allows us to secure them into one spot and also prevent like the Ghani's tentacles from really getting in there. You guys can't see how good this looks, but there's like, if you see right above that yellow right there, it's like a green like rim around it. It's pretty insane. It looks crazy. Those Ghani's are cool too. They're like not green green. They're more of like a yellow. Little clammies. Can you put clams in like any setup? They're kind of cool looking, but I feel like they might yeah. ruin something. Yeah, you can. So it depends on the clam. There's a lot of species of clams. So these smaller blue ones are Maxima clams. That one's a Duresa. So the Maximas and the Croatias are usually a little bit higher light clams and they probably want to be in like the rocks. Um, okay. So they have like a maybe sturdier base. All the races and the squamoses are a little bit deeper water clams. They don't move, right? They just stay where they're They at. can move, like shift a little bit. They're not gonna, like a uh, scallop might like kind of squirt and move around <laughs> your tank, but these guys will stay <laughs> generally in the same location. And do they sting other corals? No, they won't sting anything. It's crazy, look how they're they're like sensitive to... Oh, they, they did it when you did it. What the heck? Oh, there they go. Look at that, that was insane. So then how do they not like stay closed the whole time? If they think everything in the tank is a predator, like a fish will just swim over and just so be like. So if you do it enough, Boop. they'll uh, get like used to it and they'll start relaxing. And oh, okay. So as they're in your tank more and more, they'll get more and more relaxed. And the bigger they get and the longer you have them, the more they recognize that there's no predators thinking on them. See, this is what I'm talking about, guys. They got fire egg cans online. I mean, obviously, as you can tell, they have fire core online in general, but their egg cans are next level. Beautiful little colony. And those. We did this tank already. Oh, look at the scully, the little scully garden. That's a little baby one. This one's really fluffy. Smaller plates over here. The second one right here. Yeah. This one, this one's a fluffy guy. That one's kind of cool though. Oh, and then we got the Euphelia Central. Euphelias, really pretty golds, greens, so many lights. All right. Oh. Brings back some memories, that one. I don't know, maybe we'll try again so with, with another pink tip like that. It was really cool. I honestly think that it only died because it fell in the sand and I didn't see it soon enough. My other two torches have been doing good for a while now, knock on a hard head, so maybe I'll give those pink tips another shot um, and just make sure that they don't fall in the sand. Like I'll put it, put it on a disc this time so that way you don't have any issues. And uh, oh, well the problem is we need space. So once we get that, then then maybe we'll consider it, I guess. This thing is cool too. It kind of looks like a upside down mushroom and it's purple with a yellow. Oh, look at that one. I think that's a tiger. Is this one a, uh, a tiger or something? Tiger? tiger torch, yeah. Yeah, those things are so cool. The colors are insane. We got one more over there, more Euphelia and some huge Acanthos. I feel like when you get a big tank, you kind of got to like go with the big colonies. If not, everything looks like it's just like disappeared as soon as you put it in. I mean, you could let it all grow in, but you're not gonna wanna go with like 
a little baby colony of something or like a little baby frag of something because you just won't see it you know and then over here well this is like the fragging station and everything so this is primarily it's like our everything station this is primarily actually our bagging station we'll have somebody be bagging the orders packing them up and we'll lay out all the sheets for everyone's name what corals they have well, somebody here, we use these catch cups and we pre-pack all the orders. And someone here will use a heat sealer, bag them up, and then we slide them down. Someone will box them, and then they get ready to go. Oh, this is a, this is like an all hands on deck kind of situation. Yeah, so like um, we actually started closing every Monday um, locally because we were getting a little bit busy with um, online orders. It's like Mondays are biggest shipping day, so we usually have usually three, sometimes four people, all four of us working in here, and we'll what? have like kind of a little rotation of just kind of everyone doing a circle. That's awesome. This place is sick thank you so much for letting us tour appreciate your time i will have a link down below for queen city corals use the code dream 15 for 15 percent off your order at checkout hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one later